This guy in the Poconos is selling yurts. Okay, let's take a peek. It's all I'm saying. That, this guy. That's him, Marco. In the Poconos. Yeah. Marco. Purple boots. Marco's yurts. Marco. Poconos. It's <laughs> pretty good stuff. These guys are great. Marco. Poconos. I can go get a coffee. Marco. Poconos. Why don't you call him and ask him about his yurts and see if he's heard about me? His name's Marco. I'm pretty sure. All I know is he's been killing the yurt game up there. Some people just buy land and throw a yurt on it for two years while they build their dream house. This, that's where this guy's making money. Well, I get an I'm RV selling, we, when you can get a while you RT, right? Selling yurts to people that want to bury their dead wives. Yeah, which is or annoying girlfriends. Wow. The phone up there sucks. Poconos. Yeah, Poconos got you. Hope the reception's okay. Now, Hello. This... <laughs> yeah, is this uh, Marco? Yes, this is Marco. <laughs> Hey, you broke up there. What's your name again? Name's Marco. Poconos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what's the name of your establishment? Marco. Poconos. Yurts. Yurts. Right? Okay. Now, my buddy uh, here, uh, Aaron Burke. Uh, my name. Okay, my buddy here, I, you, I, I didn't say his name. Boy, bro, who'd you say that was? <laughs> What's that? It, it's not important. But he is, uh, he's getting into the yurt game down here in, uh... I heard of him. What's that? He's a fucking arsehole. I'm good. <laughs> really? He's trying to squeeze into the yurt game. He is. There's he's... only one name in the yurt game, and it's Marco. <laughs> what did they... <laughs> And you're gonna miss this over the weekend, people. You're like, oh, I don't know, we're gonna get... Yeah, and he's really... Look, he's exploding on the scene down here in Jersey. Fuck him. Okay. Well, yeah, he's very... Fuck you, Marco! Fuck you, Fuck <laughs> Try You're take in over biggest. your head! Where's I your know head? yurts, maybe Where's not as well as you, but I got head. some hustle. You can't sell yurts! You're not in this town! You're gonna sell yurts. I'm coming up to the Poconos and I'm selling yurts. Marco! <laughs> Poconos! I think his wife is calling him. Marco! Poconos! Marco, someone's calling you. Look, look. Maybe we could work together. How about you help me sell some yurts and I'll give you a finder's fee? Finder's fee? Yeah, like a couple percentage points. Five dollars. I could do that. Okay, why is he, why is he, why, are you drinking a Foster's beer right now? <laughs> I got a big white fluffy hat. <laughs> yeah, but you sound like you're like sitting there with a kangaroo and a boomerang. <laughs> I didn't know where to go with this one. <laughs> so anyway, Marco. Poconos! That was for me. That was for me. That was for me. Uh, all right, so you're saying the economy won. Uh, because it looks like you built the yurt in the middle of like some bombed out city. It's the Poconos, what do you mean? <laughs> Marco! <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Ask how much the economy model costs. How much the economy what? How much the economy model costs. Yeah, what's that economy model run for? $150.99. Jesus Christ, I'm selling here. It's for 16 grand. Yeah, <laughs> well, yours are made of actual, like, fabric, and, and they have them. Hey, can I see the inside of the yurt? No. <laughs> You're a boy at first. Well, that'll speed that along. All right. <laughs> what's the square footage? Is? If if a, hey, I know it's around, but what's the square footage, Marco? Uh, koala. What's that? It's did a you, koala. Did you say a pair of koala? Yeah, that's what I said. So two koala. That's how many square feet it is. About so two you're koala. saying the measurement of, of the unit of measurement in the Poconos for yurts is, is an Australian fucking marsupial. I don't make the rules, I just sell yurts. What do you want from me? <laughs> All right, let's say that I was feeling extravagant and I wanted to, wanted to uh, ratchet it up a notch. Tell him I sold a yurt to Mick Jagger. <laughs> By the way, you ever sell a yurt to anyone famous? My buddy sell, uh, sold a yurt to Mick Jagger. Oh yeah? Yes. I sold a yurt to Frankie McDonald once. The, the guy that killed uh, Trayvon Martin? Yeah, him. <laughs> he, he didn't, like, why would you say it so many times if you didn't really kill him? 
All right, well, my, I, I'm just saying it'd be easier for you to get my money if I could see the inside of that yurt, Marco. Well, you got 150 99 I, I could, I actually, I have plenty in my Venmo. Do you have a Venmo? No, we don't do that here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what do you do there? Cash. Cash. Yeah, that's what I figured. So if it's cash, why do you have, not, why is it 150 99 Why wouldn't you just make it 151 Because I need change for the bus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's a point. So that's your competition, Aaron. So I get back and forth to work every day. Got it. I think we can uh, beat him. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for the intel. I mean, thanks, the Marco. For the information. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for the information. How many can I put you down for? But uh, I'll call you back. You know what? We're just window shopping. Yeah, we're just browsing. Tell you what, though, I'll look you up next time I'm in the Poconos. Yeah, Poconos. well, you tell that bug. It's never not great. Until he gets that white fluffy hat, he ain't selling yurts around here. Yeah, okay, uh, great. And uh, we're going to let you go work on the inside of your yurt and your your mountain accent. All right, love you, buddy. All right, no. Later, Marco. Poconos. Oh, my God, here we go. Christ almighty. Hi. And you are Aaron from? It's me, Berg from Berg's Yurt. Y'all want to get yourself a nice yurt? Come on down to Berg's Yurt. Okay, go on, Berg's Yurt. We have yurts. What's that? We have yurts. Okay, so, by the way, I'm not going to lie to you. That's a great fucking sweater on him. Thank you, uh, Don. Um, all right, so. Not itchy at all. Yeah, it's, it's a great sweater. Now, let me ask you this, uh, Aaron Berg from Berg's Yurt's. What separates your yurts? What, what, like, what, what is your, 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 your pitch, your marketing ploy? Why would I buy like the party? Right. Yeah. Our yurts are party friendly. Well, my buddy, I got to- like drugs? Yes. <laughs> Come do some drugs while we sign you up for this yurt. Really? Yeah. What's your favorite drug? Well, when I'm doing drugs, it's probably alcohol, if you consider that a drug by I got some. You got some under there? Grab yourself a little drink and sign on the dotted line for What happened to all my yurt? booze? Right, a little moonshine. There you go. Sign him up. Not doing that. Sixteen thousand eight hundred dollars, and I am putting you in the economy level yurt. Now, what's your economy level yurt run? It's made of sticks, and it's about two koalas. No, it's. I didn't say how big was the inside. It's made of sticks. What's it cost? Sixteen thousand eight hundred dollars. Excuse me, one minute. Mm -hmm. Call here. Right with you there. I'm going to get these drinks ready for you. Oh, sure. Marco. Marco. <laughs> Poconos. Marco. Poconos. Poconos. Now, yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy, what are you doing? Uh, what am I doing? What are you doing? Uh, well, a minute ago, I called. Everything's like hunky-dory. You're sitting there. I'm dying. hanging out with you. Oh. Yeah, I didn't know. Why, Why didn't you move make... from Australia to the Poconos? I, I, I don't think. I think he's been there. Have you lived in the Poconos your whole life, Marco? Just a bat. Okay. Why is he still have the accent? Yeah, why do you still have an accent like you're from the other side of the world? I'll visit home quite often. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gave it the... back. What's that? I was just there a couple of weeks ago. Really? What'd you yeah, have? It fades away after a couple of months. <laughs> months? <laughs> it's starting to fade away. Yeah, I feel it slipping right now. All right, well, look, a minute ago I called, well, five minutes ago, and you offered me a yurt for a buck fifty ninety nine. Man, price going up. Yeah, it's a buck fifty one ninety nine and sixty. That's one fifty three. One fifty, Jesus fuck. One fifty, even one fifty three, even or one fifty three ninety nine. Ninety eight. Son of a bitch. Discount. Yeah. Oh, thanks, buddy. And how much is the shipping again? Sixteen grand. 